Hi guys, it's me again. I'm Nafid. I'm going to show you today a very simple setup how to remotely access your lab that you have a home lab basically. So I assume that you have built a guacamole server and the concept here is how to remotely connect your device via the internet and then do port forwarding to there. The first step you're going to do is to find out what's your public IP, find my IP. So what's my IP.com is one of the easy way you copy that IP that is a public IP address after which you're going to use that public IP address in the port forwarding so you open your uh, BT hub the one I'm using and create a new port forwarding uh, rule in this case you click on the show IP you type the IP address in this example we're using 192.168.1.200 and now in this case we have used the internal and external ports as you can see now by default, Guacamole listens to port 8080. Externally, people will connect using the port TCP port 80. Now you can see I have used the public IP address without any certificate, and this is port 80 slash Guacamole. If you would like to use a fully qualified domain name, then you will have had purchased a domain name, like in this case was lane.net, and you would have configured the public IP address to be used um, in this case and you can use the whizlane.net in this case to reach your uh, your server and that will um, forward the traffic into the guacamole server if you have followed our lab and installed the self-signed certificate then you could also create another port forwarding uh, rule which is port 443 and then you will be able to use the HTTPS to forward the traffic uh, using uh, HTTPS sub -signed certificate. This is the end of the um, video and uh, this is just to show you how to create very simple port forwarding on your BT Hub to reach your Guacamole server. In other videos we will uh, show you a complete setup of the lab, how to install the lab in your environment. Thank you very much for listening to me and I'll see you in future videos. Thank you very much.